Yes, this is a message for Rock Church, North State in Red Bluff, California. Uh, whoever the pastor is, the leaders there, uh, I come to you today to warn you, sir, uh, Mr. Pastor, uh, you're committing the unpardonable sin. Let me take you to Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore, I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. Double period, colon. This was a beautiful gospel statement by Jesus himself. All sin for all people for all time. But that's not what the Christian church has taught at all. You are teaching a a blasphemous sin gospel. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh, it's all about speaking and teaching about verse 31. Against the Son of Man it shall be forgiven him, but whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost it shall not be forgiven him. Neither in this world nor in the world to come. Now the gospel age and the Holy Spirit is the author, finisher, and interpreter of the Holy Scriptures. Verse 33. Either make the tree good and the fruit good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for they, that tree is known by its fruit. What is the fruit, sir? The fruit is is the gospel, that beautiful gospel statement by Jesus, verse 31. That's the fruit, not uh, men's moral behavior. The fruit is the gospel. O generation of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak good things, teach? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. A good man, out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. You've taken the treasure, the gospel, and you've made it evil. That's what you've done. You've got people in bondage. Verse 35. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I went through that one. Verse 36. But I say unto you, listen to me very carefully here, sir, that every idle word that men shall speak, teach, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. And that day is coming soon, sir. I'm out warning churches, warning people, warning evangelists. And today it's the warning is to you. The blood will not be on my head. I'm, I'm not here to start a new church or I am I starting a ministry or anything. I am just sharing the truth of the gospel. You sirs have had a blasphemous sin gospel. Verse 37, and we'll close with this. For by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. I would study this piece of scripture if I were you, Mr. Pastor, Mr. Elders, Mr. Miss or Mrs. Bible study teachers, because you're committing the unpardonable sin. The, the only sin that Jesus will not forgive. Listen, the whole world's going to be in the kingdom and Preachers and pastors, evangelists, anybody speaking forth, forth a false gospel will be thrust out of the kingdom. Read Matthew chapter, uh, or I'm sorry, Luke chapter 13, verse 23 to 30. He tells us who's going to be in the kingdom. And it's not going to be the pastors and the preachers. Uh, you'll be saying, Lord, Lord. Thank you.